So that comes next to like, so how how do military records, how, how do I get my military records? So if I, you know, if I'm looking to get a copy, um, whether it be analog or digital, how do I go about that? How do I do that? The easiest way to get your military records is to go to the National Archives website, um, archives.gov. And right on that main landing page, um, there's gonna be a section that's called military service records. And if you click on that, you're gonna find all kinds of information about what records we have, what what you know time periods are available, so forth. And there's an online application called EVETREX. And if you use that application to submit your request to us, um, that's the best way to submit a request because then it's gonna be assigned a reference request number that you can come back later and check on the status of your request. Um, it's a entirely digital process. You can sign the request electronically as well. And when you do it, you know, we, we get a, a large volume of requests. We, we normally get about 5,000 requests every single day. If I receive 5,000 pieces of mail and I have our mailroom staff transcribe those into our systems, as good as they are, they're going to make some typos. But if you key your request in and it's the only one you got and it's your, yours, you're going to do it right. Then information is going to um, be entered into our system completely accurately. And then all the automation in the system with regard to finding the right record and so forth will work properly. 5,000 requests a day? A day, yes. Actually, for, lately- For military records or just records in general? <laughs> military records. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bananas. So, so the office in St. Louis, the National Personal Records Center, the, the reference volume is higher than the rest of the National Archives combined. And um, 5,000 per day is a general term. Right now, we're actually doing a little bit more. We're receiving a little bit more than that. We're typically getting 26, 27,000 a week right now. And how, how many of those requests are kept, out of my own curiosity, how many of them, if you know off the top of your head, how many of them are coming from the general public and how many of them are coming from other agencies like, say, VA for a veteran that's submitting a claim or something like that? Okay, let me back up a little bit. So the, the, the 26, 27,000 requests that we're getting a week right now are what we call correspondence requests. They're coming from a member of the public, either the veteran, the veteran's family, a third party, and it requires us to pull a record look at that request, determine that, you know, this person's authorized to get these documents, make reproductions, redact third-party personal information, compose a response letter and send it out. We also have a whole nother business line, which is what you're referring to is like when another federal agency comes in for a record. The VA um, is the heaviest user among federal agencies. They come to us five to 7,000 times a week for record requests. That's a whole different, so that's on top of the 27,000. Those are oh, records, wow. but, but those are much easier for us to service. We just run out in the warehouse, we pull a record, we deliver it to the VA. The VA then digitizes the entire record, ingests it into its veterans benefits management system and adjudicates the disability claim. And the turnaround time on that is very quick and easy because we don't have to um, do any analysis regarding releaseability. We don't have to make any document reproductions. We don't have to redact anything. We just pull a record and send it to the VA. So the normal response time on requests from the VA is about three business days. So if a veteran has a disability claim to file, it makes more sense for them to just file it with the VA, let the VA do the legwork. The VA has a duty to assist and they will, you know, get, get the record for whatever the records they need to adjudicate their claim, they're gonna get them, whether we hold them or whether they're avail available electronically. Connect with the benefits you earned and deserve. Visit news.va.gov for current events, sign up for the Vet Resources e-newsletter, subscribe on YouTube for content like the Sit Rep and VR5, or follow VA on social media. Visit the video description below and get connected today.